In this episode, you will learn about the smallest Arduino, Seedvino shell. In this tutorial, I will cover the extreme basics before I'm going to use this smallest Arduino in some beginner's level, intermediate level, and advanced level projects. In this tutorial, we will cover number one, Seedvino shell technical specifications. Number two, pinout. Number three, Seedvino Shell Arduino IDE Board Manager installation and finally number four some basic example codes to help you get started with the smallest Arduino Seedvino Shell. We will cover the serial communication, LED blinking, analog sensor interfacing for controlling the on and off time delay of the LED and some other example codes available in my article. You can find a link in the description. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this video can be purchased from Seed Studio and Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the smallest Arduino Seedvino shell. It is an Arduino microcontroller that is embedded with the SAMD21 microchip. The first most prominent thing that you will notice about the Seedvino is its very small size when compared with Arduino Uno and Arduino Nano and is claimed to be the smallest member of the Seedvino family. Seedvino shell carries the powerful CPU ARM Cortex M0 Plus SAMG21 G18, which is a low power Arduino microcontroller. The Seedvino shell is ideal for the variable devices and small DIY projects. The Seedvino shell has a total of 14 GPIO pins, which can be used for 11 analog pins. 11 digital pins, 1 I2C interface, 1 UART interface, and 1 SPI interface. Some pins have various functions. A1 or D1 to A10 or D10 pins have PWM functions and pin A0 or D0 has a function of digital to analog converter which means you can get true analog signals not PWM signals when you define it as an analog pin. That's why 14 GPIO pins can realize more I.O. pins and interfaces. All pins on seat we know Xiao supports interrupts, but two pins cannot be used at the same time, pin 5 and pin 7. Moreover, seat we know Xiao supports the USB Type-C interface which can supply power and download code. There are power pads at the back of the seat we know which supports battery and make it designed for variable devices to become realistic. You need to be careful while using the seat we know Xiao is all the I.O. pins are 3.3 volt. Do not input more than 3.3 volt. Otherwise the CPU may be damaged. For the 5 volt sensors and breakout ports, you can use a voltage level converter. Seat we know Xiao is perfectly compatible with the Arduino IDE. To program the seat we know Xiao using the Arduino IDE you will need to install the Seedvino Xiao board. While the Arduino IDE is open, copy this URL link which is available in the description. Click on the file menu and then click on the preferences. You can directly paste this URL or if you have already added some URLs then all you need is simply put a comma and then paste the URL. Finally, click on the OK button. Click on the Tools menu. Go to Ports and then click on the Ports Manager.
search for the seed vino and install the latest version. This may take several minutes depending on the speed of your internet connection. The Seedvino board is installed and now I can click on the close button. Again click on the tools menu, go to boards and check if the Seedvino shower board is added. As you can see the Seedvino shower board is available. As you can see the port is disabled which means the seed vino is not connected with the laptop. Let's go ahead and connect the seed vino with the laptop. As you can see now the port is enabled and the seed vino shell is installed on the COM7. Click to select this port. After selecting the port, now the next step is to select the Seedvino Shell port. So now you can see the Seedvino Shell port is selected and also the communication port is selected. Now let's write a very basic program that sends the high message to the serial monitor using the serial communication. Now let's control an LED. The anode leg of the LED is connected with the Seedvino pin number 10 and the cathode leg is connected with the ground pin. This is a very basic LED blinking program. The purpose of this code is to turn on and turn off the LED. I'm using a one second delay. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this basic program in action. This time I added a potentiometer with the analog pin A2 of the Seedvino while the LED connection remains the same. In this example, the potentiometer is used as the sensor which is used to control the delay time. You can use any type of the analog sensor. For the 5 volt sensors, don't forget to add the voltage level converter. The purpose of this program is to control the on and off time delay of the LED using the potentiometer. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this basic program in action. From these examples, you know the Seedvino shell is just like the Arduino Uno very soon I will use the seed win in some intermediate and advanced level projects. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.